<laughs> What's up? It's Lip Service. I'm Angela Yee. I'm Gigi McGuire. I'm Jordy Jor. And I'm Julian Horton. Julian Horton. Hello, mm-hmm. Julian. And you may know him because we've all been watching the number one series on, on Netflix, Netflix, Beauty in Black. Yes, ma'am. And you played a character of Roy. Yes, I did. And he did make sure that we knew right away, I am not- I am not Roy. Nothing like Roy. I am Roy. not Roy. I am not Roy yes. at all. Actually, I kind of am a little bit, but at the same Ooh. time, I'm not as mean as his ass. You know what I'm saying? Why are you kind of, what do you mean a little bit? Well, as an actor, you have to have you know some commonalities within your character, so you can okay. bring that to life. Because if you see Roy, Roy's not, Super villain, you know, because he's sometimes he's funny, he's sly, mm-hmm. he's kind of idiot, kind of just stupid sometimes, and that's what I brought to the character. A okay, bit. just a as little long as not the erectile dysfunction. No, no, yeah, that, that's like, the guy. Yeah. I'm, I'm not him. I'm not him. That's what I mean. I'm not him. Okay, uh, just that part. Yeah. Oh, uh, just that part. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> How did you study for that part? <laughs> You're funny. Uh, Hilarious. Uh, <laughs> nah, like, yeah, for sure. But no, nah, that that was it was it was amazing. I'm just I'm glad to be here by the way too. Is it is it fun playing this villain character? It is. It is. Um I think you know when when Tyler was I mean when it was announced that he was doing a Netflix series and when it came across my agent's desk, I saw this character Roy. They wanted me to play this Roy. He was like 30s young black wild card just kind of a you know asshole character they wanted me to play other characters and audition for other roles mm-hmm. but i was so set on playing this guy because i knew he would just be just out of this world kind of just being a wild card and being like talked about and mm-hmm. setting the tone for the show so i didn't even audition for any other roles you were like I, this is the I one i'm Roy. i and set my it. intention on it i prayed to god about it and it was a grueling process to get in really grueling mm-hmm. process to get it took a month to mm-hmm. get it Wow. Back and forth, back and forth. And then finally, you know, after some time, you know, I got it. That's scary because you're also like so close. So when close. Mm-hmm. Back and forth and you know you're like in the running. You're like, who else mm-hmm. yes. is up for this role? Did you know who you were up I against? didn't know. Mm-hmm. I didn't know until a little later. And it wasn't as crazy as I thought it was. Okay. It was more inside information stuff. But yeah, it wasn't as crazy as I thought. Because oh, nice. at first I thought it was like, yo, we got damn some Michael B going for this role because Netflix and stuff. Right. But then I learned that it was, no, it wasn't like that. Tyler actually, he works a little bit differently. Yeah. And you've worked with him. So he also does like to use keep his people. people. Yeah. Right. And that's yeah. that's why I'm going on. To, I don't want to, you know, yeah. But that's what it really kind of was. And then, yeah. um, you know, some people are like, yo, this is too crazy for me. I can't do this role. And then, you know, and another person like, I ain't doing that. And then me, I didn't give a shit. So right. I just did it. Mm-hmm. I think it's I think playing a villain is probably kind of more fun. fun. Right. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's I'm fun. A, I'm gonna tell you the issue that Gigi had, because uh, no, Gigi, you tell us the issue that you had. The issue that I had with the show <laughs> in general had really nothing to do with your character. Yeah. Um, I come from the entertainment background of mm-hmm. the exotic ladies of the night, you yes. know. Magic City. To Magic City to be exact. Yeah. Um, Juju. Shout out to yeah. Juju. Yeah, shout out to Juju. Yes. I was just there last night. That's what's um, up. And um, the way that they make the club, and, and it, it's so rough. It's so mm. mean. It's so cutthroat. It's so just raunchy. And they it's just like, mm. the, whole, like the whole pimp aspect, yeah. the, the club owner being a pimp or whatever. Yeah. And everybody owes him money and they made the girl get the butt shots. And just, just like, you know, I have a problem with the way strip is seen mm-hmm. through television and mm-hmm. movies. And it's, it was when it make us look bad. You get what I'm saying? Um, so love the show. But that's the only part that I was like, ugh. You like it was you know, not like that because yeah, well, yeah. like even like the VIP with them like Facts. having sex on top of the car like come that on. was crazy. I ain't gonna lie you to live you. in Atlanta. Uh, that was that, that was that peaches <laughs> of Atlanta, Queens of Atlanta, right? Because we, we, we don't we, we I'm sorry to cut you off, but no. we don't know about these things right. that's going exactly. on. Exactly. And as a as an actor, I didn't know this stuff was going on until I saw the shit. In the so show. you saw it. I was it. like that part was like I was like come on now y'all going too far. Yeah, with the VIP being outside and them having sex on top of the car. Now you went too far, but. Um, you know, that's the only thing that um, I feel like. It was like a stereotype yeah. of a strip club. Yeah. Because yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, it makes we... people think that that's what really right. goes down. I feel that. And then in the return, they look at us like, well, that's Gigi, what y'all be doing? Right. Gigi has some news about Magic City. Go ahead, because we are toasting while and celebrating. While let's, we're at it. We're yeah, toasting. Speaking of Magic City, we're yeah. toasting. We're, we're going to keep yeah. on toasting, Julian, just uh-huh. so you know. Like Cheers. Cheers. So, um, <laughs> I got a call today, mm-hmm. actually, mm-hmm. right before you walked in. I got a call Lord, from me. the yeah. production of Magic City's docuseries. Um, it's called An American Fantasy. Mm-hmm. Um, and the call was an update from production to let me know that it has been expanded from three episodes to five episodes. Congratulations. Um, we already knew that I am the narrator 
um, of the docuseries. And um, I was just told that I am the only entertainer in Magic City's history that is in all five episodes. So that's a big production. deal. Congratulations. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Sure. Thank you. Philly Thank and you. Atlanta representing because you're both up. grew up in Philly yeah. and then yeah. moved to Atlanta. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, were you yeah. a Magic City regular when moving to Atlanta? Like uh, he said you wanted to do you your right. like that. So he made your Did you see how he did his mouth? No, no, actually, I, yeah, I'm. The I, 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 go, I go to Magic School, yeah, Juju, and just, you know, visit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Juju is what, the owner's, one of his sons. Yes. For those who don't yeah, know who yes. Juju is. Um, yeah, but Magic really wasn't my cup of tea. I, uh, Lord forgive me. But yeah, I went to Follies. Okay. That was yeah, more, rest in peace to Follies. Yeah, that was more, if I did go to the strip club, I didn't go often. Yeah. Very mm -hmm. sparingly. Daytime, nighttime. Because that was two different clubs. It was. Follies in the daytime and Follies in the nighttime was not the same What's club. What's the difference? The hoes. Oh. Oh. Man. Okay. Come on. You lit. Keep I like you. <laughs> what it was? Like, it was different kind of holes in the daytime oh than the holes in the night. Fives of the night was great, though. Fives of the night. Yeah, Fives of the night was great. Okay. On a Sunday, too. What about in the yeah. series Beauty and Black when she was like, we always going to be hoes? That was great. <laughs> I mean. Shout out Amber Ram. Shout out Amber Ram Smith. That's it's my a little homie. bit of truth. To, no, I'm playing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a little bit crazy. of truth to that part, too. But that was, that you can delete your wholeness. You can't delete your wholeness, but when it's in you. Can you not? But when it's in you. It ain't hard to reignite the hope now. I feel like there is an expiration on wholeness. There is an exp expiration on things that you've done. <laughs> but when you got that little hole in you, itchy, scratchy, you know, it ain't hard itchy, to bring scratchy. her out. Damn. Yeah. If the price is right, a bitch just might. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, I understood. like this show. Yeah. <laughs> cheers to that. Yeah, cheers to this show. Because <laughs> they definitely time. said that. That was a <laughs> classic. I remember that I was in the that first part. episode. When yeah. she's like... Don't get no scholar. We always gonna be hoes. I was like, well, damn. Hilarious. <laughs> we cannot be hoes no more. That was hilarious. I mean, you know, in some, goes, in some form or another. So for you, having played football for 17 years, right? Yes. And also professionally in the NFL, what got you more attention, football or acting? Definitely this. Mm -hmm. Acting. Um, I mean, because I played in the SEC. I went to the University of Arkansas. So, you know, mm -hmm. we got a lot of attention in the... Uh, local sense of the word right. you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying because you play arkansas you're the football player julian all that shit but at the end of the day um nothing compares to this nothing nothing right you know and, i mean it's a number one show there's it's 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 crazy i went to check my bag today what's up roy what's up i'm <laughs> right. like, I'm like Damn, it's early in the morning like, what's up bro how you doing yeah. the person i sat next to in the airport today mm -hmm. shout out joe you know what i'm saying shout out joe he was so cool man he was like yo what's up bro i was like what's up man you should have been like bitch don't fucking talk to me like <laughs> <laughs> really scared him again no, character. Was on me i'm telling you i'm telling That's you hilarious. But, but this this show right here though was crazy because i knew it was going to go crazy too though right. because um you know i've been acting for nine years now mm -hmm. it's going to my ninth year and I've done other projects, movies, TV shows, and things of that nature, and some some good some yeah some good movies too, like Oscar winners and yeah. Emmy mm. winners, stuff that you would think that would get the notoriety that it needed to just really like expand my career the way it needed mm -hmm. to, but in today's day, timing and, is everything. In today's climate, mm -hmm. though, it's like it's just a blip of just a, a blip of notoriety and some likes, some yeah, congratulations, bro, you're in a movie, nigga, whatever, whatever. <laughs> But it's crazy because I did a movie called National Champions in right. 2021. Mm -hmm. J.K. Simmons, he got Uzo Aduba, Stefan James. You got all these well-known, I'm talking about some great actors and actresses. We did the movie. It comes out in theaters. It didn't do well in theaters. But, but it was on streaming. I see. Yeah, it was on streaming and stuff too, but it hit the theaters. And I told people about it. I promoted it because I'm, a, you know, I promote my shit a lot. I promoted it. And then, you know, a couple of people saw it. Mm -hmm. A couple of people. Then like two years later... My dad, out of the randomly at midnight, said, yo, son, National Champions is on Netflix. Yeah. I, I said, you get the fuck out of here. He said, you know, it's, it's really on Netflix. So I went to Netflix real quick, and National Champions had just hit Netflix. So once I started promoting it that it was on Netflix, everyone started hitting me up. Mm -hmm. They were watching it. They were watching it. They were watching it. Sending me photos, sending me videos of me being in the movie. Mm -hmm. And that's when I knew right then and there, I said, you know what? I really just want to do Netflix. Right, because in today's, because like really yeah, in today's, it's so society, different. yeah, you don't like go you to can the create like traction that. for real. Because really, it really depends on what streaming service you're on. Because mm -hmm. even like, a, let's say a show like Hijacked. I don't know if y'all seen that. Idris mm -hmm. Elba, it's on Apple, Apple TV. Mm -hmm. If that was on Netflix, yeah, that'd be one of the most talked 
about shows in you're the right world. about that because i when i want to watch something the first thing i go to netflix. is netflix. netflix exactly and i have because i have subscriptions to a lot of things but for and netflix does a great job because i saw national champions when that was on they promoted like yeah. you it's like suggestions for you yeah exactly. mm-hmm. you know and exactly. they will they have that up there mm-hmm. top mm-hmm. movies today top it's just mm-hmm. easy to navigate right. exactly. and then when you see that you're like oh okay that looks interesting i'm gonna watch that on everything so when mm-hmm. i saw that i was just like yeah i'm just i was just putting my intention only want to do Netflix. Mm-hmm. Only want to do Netflix. And then this came along, and then I was like, "Yo, Tyler Perry's first Netflix series, right? Mm-hmm. Gonna go crazy. Mm-hmm. It's gonna go crazy." And crazy then, is an understatement. I'm telling you. And then <laughs> just really, just like knowing what the show is about and the way TP wrote it, I think the show has so many elements of everyone's guilty pleasures. Right. You got a rich black family. Mm-hmm. You got the strip club scene. Mm-hmm. You got a nigga doing coke and drugs. <laughs> you got a nigga doing the prostitution thing. You, you got just people. did Roy's voice. You got, man, you, got, no, no, facts. you got you got people, you got a dead body. You got dead body. You got stuff for the, for the gays. The people. It's a, it's just mm-hmm. every anything you like. Thing, exactly. You get it from this show. <laughs> Whatever you need. Up in one. My yeah. mom loves God. Care my, yeah, here you my mom loves <laughs> the religion. The religion <laughs> tip. So it's like mm-hmm. everything that's like really in black culture. Yeah. It's depicted in this show, so everyone mm-hmm. gets a little bit of what they want. Sleeping mm-hmm. with the help. I'm telling you, mm-hmm. exactly <laughs> that too. <laughs> it's just everything. Everything in it is crazy, <laughs> and it's just like um, once I read the script, and once I just seen the cast and the camaraderie that we had, and the actors that we had, I'm just I just knew that was gonna be crazy. So to that question, this right here is yeah, this is the most attention because every day I get stopped now. Every right. day. Yeah, just, yeah. What's you know, the everything. craziest thing someone said to you on the street? I wouldn't say the, the craziest thing. Well, the the dopest thing that's happened to me. I went to. Oh damn it! I got to admit this on you. Oh, you know what? Go ahead, tell it. Admit it. <sighs> this yeah. I, now we yeah, need to know. Yeah, now exactly. we need to know. Where'd you, this go? Where'd you go? This face right here. Yeah, this is nuts. <laughs> Anyways, well. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a goofball sometimes, and y'all. This is crazy. No, God it. is great. I, the fact I'm here. <laughs> Anyways, um, I know I can't stop. It's crazy. So, <laughs> I went to a little lounge in LA because mm-hmm. I had to shoot a commercial there last week, and um, you know, I went there around seven o'clock. I was, I was, I was bored in the hotel room. I was, like, I need to get out. I just want to go, you know, have a drink or something. Right. So then, um, he was like, yo, bro, I ain't gonna lie to you, fam. Oh, it ain't really a little pop. It ain't popping in there right now, fam. I said, it's all right, bro. I'm just, I'm chilling, bro. All right. He's all right, for sure. Where you from, fam? I said, from Atlanta. You know, he's like, what, what you doing out here, fam? I said, just shooting a commercial and shit, bro. Shooting a commercial. Like, That's what's up. That's what's up, bro. What's up? You an actor? I'm like, yeah, I'm an actor, bro. I'm an actor. Because like, actually, matter of fact, bro, we actually got number one show on Netflix right now called Beating Black. You should watch it. He said, nigga, no way. I said, what are you talking about? <laughs> I said, what are you talking about, nigga, no way, nigga? <laughs> He said, I'm on episode six right now. <laughs> I said, you on episode six? I'm like, who you play? I said, the, the nigga that be talking crazy, bro, who be doing the cocaine and shit, whatever, whatever. And he was like, no, nah, no way. And then everyone started coming out the club and stuff. Like, no, way, there's no way you're playing it. And then they like brought it up. And they were like, you, yeah, you this guy right here. Yeah. Yeah. And they were like, no, what, no, get in free. And they let me in free and shit. And all my friends free. So oh, that wow. was like one of the like mm-hmm. cool mm-hmm. things that have happened. You More know. to come. Yeah. yeah, right? Mm-hmm. They're gonna, yeah, and then the after that, they're going to be giving you free bottles. And after that, they're going to pay you and then give you free bottles. I'm telling right? you, it's, it's crazy. Um, we are highly anticipating yeah. part two. I know. We got to wait till next spring. It's next spring. Mm-hmm. Do you know, do they give you any idea or do you not know what's going to happen until you get the script? Or do you get it? Or well, like... the thing about it, we've already finished it. Oh, you it's shot it already? Yeah, it's already done. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We shot 16 oh. episodes of this. Y'all know Tyler Perry go in and don't come yeah. out until it's over? We shot 16 mm-hmm. episodes. Damn. And the thing about it is... um. I didn't know how TP was going to release it, but saying he did the eight and then you know he dropped the second eight. But usually on Netflix, I know like Outer Banks, mm-hmm. Stranger Things, you know these big like shows, they do the two part mm-hmm. thing now. But mm-hmm. it's usually like a two week wait. Mm-hmm. Like Outer Banks just dropped like three like weeks ago. Month, yeah, yeah, they did mm-hmm. the five episodes and then they're gonna come back with the next five. Mm-mm. So I was thinking we were going to do something like that too. Right. Until I got to the end of the goddamn series, and it says spring 2025. Damn, that's I'm not, mad, I'm not mad at it, though. I'm mad at it. I'm not mad. <laughs> we need to see. I know, I Listen, know. spring 2025, we'll be watching Beauty and Black on Netflix, and we'll be watching an American Absolutely. Fantasy on Stars. All right, Talk now I got, a, I got a real Finish. question to ask all of y'all. Yes. All right. So let's just say, because this happened in Beauty and Black, this is kind of lays down the groundwork. Let's just say your significant other runs over and kills someone with their car. Mm-hmm. Are you going to cover it up, or 
Do you feel a responsibility? Because it feels like at some point it has to come out, right? Mm -hmm. And it also feels like she's kind of put it on Roy, like it set she it has. up so that she it feels like put it definitely because Roy did run the person over too. As we, but <laughs> she did. Not did. The body was already like know. this. I know that I know, body. You crazy. saw they were doing the meme with that break dancing <laughs> from the Olympics. <laughs> it was crazy. It was crazy. The body was, was already upside down. Uh, yeah. It was they ran over that. It was so. But that anyway, scene was so suspenseful. Like, let me ask y'all: What would you do in that scenario, though? Would you cover for your significant other? Or would you be like, we have to go and like... Now, here's the thing. Did I hit the body first? No. Oh, okay. Yes, because if I hit the body first, somebody, then I don't got no choice. But if my Just like his wife kills somebody, he don't like her anyway. But I'm just he saying... He don't like her anyway. But he didn't know she <laughs> did at the say, time. Let's just say it was somebody who you did care about and love. Mm. But you also know that you can get in serious trouble for not telling. Y'all could both, you know, end up going to jail. What would you do in real life? I'm a ride. Yeah. Right. You're not telling? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Jordan's selling. I don't know if I'm telling, but... <laughs> 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 oh, I don't know. It really depends on my partner. What if you're in the car with them when it happens? Now you're a... a Accessory. A, yep. Yeah. See, that's more likely that I'm going to say something. <laughs> that, that guilt would eat me up, for real. Mm. But if I just know about it, yeah, I, won't, I wouldn't say anything. Okay. But if I'm in the car, yeah, you're in trouble. I, you you're do? gonna have to run over me too. See, that's what I'm wondering. What would I do? <laughs> yeah, I feel like I couldn't tell. No, I. You know what I'm saying? But that's really fucked up. That's a but, big okay, secret. Okay, but let's add another layer to it. Uh -oh. It's your um, it's it was, your aunt. Yeah, it's your aunt. <laughs> that got run over by marriage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah it's your it's your uncle's wife. <laughs> yeah. That's another layer. I'm, now, not, I'm not saying nothing. I'm your riding. family I'm member got killed. But here's the yeah, thing. I'm when Roy hit the body, mm -hmm. he didn't know that Mallory had already hit that body. Right? I don't know. I don't know. I think, well. Because I mean, it's he the private a, road to the compound. Yes. Right. Anybody in the family could have hit that body. Exactly. But he knew it was her. He went back and put the body in the yeah, trunk. Yeah, I kind of, yeah, he kind of knew. I, I don't know how he knew. I don't, yeah, I don't know. TV. Right. Some things in TV we just don't question. I didn't know that was my mom. <laughs> yeah, something. I don't know to this day. How the hell we just kept saying like, I wish we knew who she was. I don't know. I just, wow. I just, I just go act. That's All I right, do. but let me ask you another question. Mm -hmm. Could you see being with somebody who you don't really like, you fell out of love with, but let's just say business wise, it makes sense, right? In a marriage, even though I don't love you anymore, I actually can't stand you, mm -hmm. but. We have a family business together. Yeah. It looks good to the outside. We're making millions of dollars. We have an amazing <laughs> life. I'm okay. gonna hold it down and <laughs> I'm gonna get my dick on the side because I know he getting his pussy where he at. So we just So you'll just stay together, but we just gonna act like we don't know what's happening. I don't know what you're doing and you don't know what I'm doing. And in, in plain sight, it's all good. Love you, baby. Okay, so you are <laughs> Mallory. Okay. Yeah, it's like, yeah, Roy yeah, Mallory. I, and her. I'm Roy. I, I agree. You agree? I'm Roy, yeah. I'm Roy. <laughs> I don't know if I need I'm Roy, that much I'm not, money. Like, if no, I thanks. still would have money and I could, we could be going our separate ways, I'd be good. But it's like a, it's like a generational wealth family business passed on through the generations of the black family. So then wouldn't yeah. that be good? Not the only way they get their inheritance is if they stay married. They stay married. Yeah. yeah. The only way they like, get their shares in will. the company. The only way they are able to keep their shares of the company is if they stay married. So once they divorce, so then bye bye to all together. of this business that we worked on for all of these years. Mm. Or you try to work out your marriage. I mean, y'all can't I don't hate know. each other. I'd be trying to siphon know, right? money some other way. Yeah. They just hate each other, and I can see. Just try to work it out. I know. Maybe she did some <laughs> drugs with him. She was one of you know how hard it is to date or be married to somebody who's like a drug addict with erectile dysfunction. It's crazy. Yeah, that's like, like a nightmare. How can you stay? And then for him, somebody who is a, I hate to say the word bitch, but she's a bitch. She's like, so mean. Yeah. She is mean. She's, she's an mean. awful human being. She's so mean. mean. I thought that after she got some penis. <laughs> so listen, I mean. thought that after she got some outside penis that that was going to make her happy. And no, she's still, she was mean to him. Like, no. You're just still being mean. She was mean to and the damn assistant. assistant. Exactly. Oh, yeah, Jim Crow shit. And, oh and when you think about redeeming qualities for characters, I'm trying to think what is redeeming about her? That's a good question. I think the redeeming quality about her, I think she has the 
the leader though the boss the, yeah at the end of the day it's yeah. like she's a bitch whatever she's an asshole no one likes her she cleans up your shit she cleans up my shit mm -hmm. but at the same time she runs the company and makes yeah. this shit keep afloat and yeah. keeps her running and keeps her you know, turning you because know? the parents are older the they father's are. dying secretly and the brother is too busy there's a his, lot going on yeah, they, they, trust they trust Mallory they trust her they, mm -hmm. yeah like you she's know? the brains of the operation she so is. to say she and the face is. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So every so you would say the only person who may be here besides me would not stay in that is maybe Jordan. You wouldn't yeah. stay with somebody for. I'd have to figure out something else. I couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. I, I don't. No offense. I don't like men enough to be tolerating <laughs> that for the rest you. of my life. Like <laughs> there's you. other ways to make money. You gotta I, think I, about the family though. It's not just him. You married to the whole family at this. There's point. gotta be some secret stock somewhere. People who are that wealthy <laughs> have loopholes. There's a part when and she. And I feel like I would have to find that loophole. Or she could go start her own brand since she's the face of that this part. Part. That's true. Something. Yeah, her own brand that ain't giving people cancer. Right. Okay. That's, true, <laughs> That's yeah. a fact. What's actually next eight episodes though? I, I can't know. wait. I know you can't give us no teasers, okay. but I can't wait. Be lit. Maybe I'll wait. You know what I've always wondered? So. How do you shoot the cocaine scenes? <laughs> I do that. I do it. I do cocaine. You do cocaine. Oh. It's He's a joke. Get it's, method it's a joke. I'm on oh. camera. I forgot. It's a joke. It's I, don't do, I don't do cocaine at all. I don't do, but no. Nah, um, <laughs> but with me though, I mean, they have this substance, um, this little flowery substance that's from props and I snort it. I don't know what wow, it is. Yeah, really? I snort it. I do everything. What is it like I'm sugar? Or something? I'm yeah, committed what is like it? a shit. I'm committed. Every slap slap me. Everything I wanna I wanna live it. I am one of those committed actors that just do it because once I'm in it, it's real to me. Mm -hmm. And be like, yo, acting is fake. No, it's not not no. when I'm no, not when I when that camera says action, action, I am so I mean and every actor feels this way, but right. I mean I'm just committed. So with the slap, snorting it, and it really going on my nose and getting the Whatever aftertaste of like whatever the substance, your, yeah, it yeah it's nose. just. But I really need that. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? I really need it. You do that good. Yeah. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> shit. So You're funny. I mean, You're funny. I can but, yeah. I can see um, because as a viewer, mm -hmm. when we watch something and it's totally fake, now it's corny. Like ah, uh, he ain't really mm -hmm. that. That's corny. Mm -hmm. So I I get why you. And that's real. Snort the substance. Mm -hmm. like, like Mallory and and you'll see some other stuff. Like they slap the shit out of me. <laughs> Like slap me. So when I'm like, yo, my shit ringing. It's uh, that's a it real. Really was ringing, right. It really was ringing. Shit is ringing, mm -hmm. crazy. Cause you know, Crystal Stewart, who plays Mallory, shout out Crystal. Yeah, her slaps hurt. She's a and good she got slapper. Ring and rings yeah. on her fingers and shit. And it's mm. they probably like take two. And you're like, right. oh my god, not again. I'm not get again. again. I know. I know. Slap me right the how first time. How did you <laughs> method act your way into erectile dysfunction? <laughs> what? How did you He's prepare like, I really for that? <laughs> right. Well, a good thing they didn't show nothing. I was about to say that. Yeah. It's not like we saw. Yeah, they just, they just, they just, <laughs> but just it's not like we saw the gummy. Standpoint, so. I don't know. Do all guys get that at some point? Like, there's situations where it just doesn't work. <sighs> <laughs> I'm Takes sure it. there has to be. Like, it's not always. Maybe you're tired. Maybe you're stressed out. Yeah, maybe so. Whiskey dick. Yeah. yeah, whiskey dick. <laughs> Maybe you snip too much flour. Right? I know. And then it won't get I know. hard. <laughs> I haven't had that problem though, so I don't know how that is. I I never a, ever like you've been. Answer. Come on, guy, work with me. Never. But I mean, you're still pretty young though. <laughs> I know. But still, I might be I mean, lying. I don't know. I don't know. But you I'm could not be lying because I feel like at some point I could see every guy like because you can't just always be ready. Well, ladies, I hate to bust your bubble, but um, I was just told last week from my friend who's going through early, uh, not early menopause, that had a hysterectomy, that she's not getting as wet as she used to. So I guess that's basically the same thing, right? Yeah. Well, you could use lube, though. Yeah. That's a day. If you can't get hard, that's just it. Right. That's it. You could use a toy instead. Be like, here. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But to answer your question, yeah, I just... You know, they don't, they don't really show They don't that. show it. They don't so show that's nothing. easy to fake. Yeah. He was just you so got mean. Lucky on that. Yeah, no, I was. Mm -hmm. Thank God. But the thing about it, yeah, it, it was it was crazy. It was, that was crazy. It's blaming it on the girl for me, though. Like I know. Mm -hmm. She didn't do it. Yeah. She didn't. That's and she was just like, energy. sorry. It is. He I feel problems. bad. It really does. Roy has problems a lot. Roy has a soft spot for Kimmy. He, like, loves and hates her at the same time. He does. I think Roy has a soft spot for a lot of people in there. I think he just... You'll see in these next eight mm -hmm. why okay. he acts the way he does. Okay. And it seems like he's trying to like compensate oh. for something that he never really got. Ah. And these next eight episodes kind of convey that. So Okay. Okay, good to know. I, so we get to learn to more about yeah, your yeah, yeah, some redeemable story. type of redemption. Yeah, because even playing this character, I didn't want him to be one noted. Like mm -hmm. if you read the script, 
it can seem kind of just like mean, 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 right. mean. I was like, no, bro. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna make this fun. <clears throat> I wanted to be kind of like a love hate with Roy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I think I, I from from what I'm hearing, from what people have told me, I think I did that because like with Crystal and AKA Mallory, it's more fun and just like banter. Mm -hmm. We're just going. And the thing about TP too, it's like we really got to have fun on this set too. Okay. Because Tyler nice. doesn't, this is different for me, especially being an actor. It's like usually you get five to 10 takes and you're going and you're going. So you're kind of doing the same thing with Tyler. I mean, it's kind of known already, but you get like one to two takes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Keep moving. Keep moving. Okay, next shot. Moving. Got it. Next. <laughs> That's and, like the soap opera vibe. Yeah. I love and, that. And, and at first I thought I was not going to like that because I'm a perfectionist. So I really wanted like, damn, I only get one or two takes. Damn. But then I quickly learned that it kind of frees you up a little bit because mm -hmm. now you're able to really do whatever you want. You can just live and let right. it breathe. So with a lot of things with me and Crystal, who plays Mallory, we just live in. Mm-hmm. Fuck the script. Right. Fuck the script. We're just, just going. going. And now you're getting this little real, natural. Authentic. Yeah. Just what people be saying to each other, especially relationships. Mm -hmm. When they're going to get each other, it's just like, we're going to see for sure. We're going to see. <laughs> like, it ain't in the script. So it's just, Tyler allowed us just like to play. And that was just uh, the best thing about working with him. Just I got to play. I know I cussed up a storm. Mm -hmm. I did. I, I, yeah, but I mean, just, it makes sense for the. No, it, it was the wear your panties for me. <laughs> That's my, my favorite scene. Uh, wear your panties. She forgot to put them on trying That's to save your ass. Scenes. Because Tyler was like, we need to do this scene real quick. We need to do this scene. Knock it out, knock it out, knock it out. We're only getting one take, so kill it. I was like, shit. So I'm like, I know this is going to be a big scene. And then when it came out and I seen it, what happened, I was. I was he was very, happy with it. Very yeah. satisfied. Yeah. And Tyler was very satisfied. When he saw it, he was just like, Yo, that was because yeah. I, I hold on, hold on, hold on. It's just yeah, just going. Yeah. Just I like, going. I like was that. Was that in the script? Or are you kind of freestyling? That, that was one? seventy percent improv. I love okay. it. Okay, seventy yeah. percent improv. That was and, and most of my shit is improv. Like, and I, I was just telling Richard Lawson this, and Shannon Wallace, who plays Calvin, the driver, and Xavier, mm -hmm. who plays Angel. We just had a little thing on Instagram. The thing I do about acting, I just how I got prepared for this role for real, because they were like, "How do you get in character?" First of all, <laughs> these elements is in my soul already. Mm -hmm. I've had a tough life in some areas of my life. You go through a lot of dark shit. It's in there. So I kind of like equate it to like having a drawer. You have this drawer and you pick the drawer out and you just get some clothes and you wear it just for that time. Mm -hmm. And then you put it back. That's how it is for me. It's in my spirit and right. soul. Naturally, as I, I live this life, I'm, 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 I'm happy, go lucky. Let's praise God. Let's have fun. Let's take, you know, take mm -hmm. shots and have a good time. But I have this darkness to me, and I think everyone has a little darkness to them. And with this role, I got to like really convey that. But to get prepared for it, I just used to. I mean, I was walking five miles a day, and just going over the script so many times, mm -hmm. so many times, so many times, so many times. Where it was like embedded in me. So you you knew who the character was. Exactly. So you could living, walking, because you know breathing, what, what he would you, say. Right. Embedded mm -hmm. me. So and the thing I do, I try to use my creativity and my imagination as much as I can. Like how would this sound? How would this sound? How can I get it so live that people are like yo that choice was crazy? So I'm always just thinking about how creative I can be when it comes to these characters. And with Roy, I knew with Tyler was only giving us one to two takes. So that's why I was really just like. I was just in it. Yeah, I didn't really, this, the script really didn't matter no more. Mm -hmm. It was just like, now it's just really a couple really just talking. And now when you talk about pulling from, like you said, we all have dark spaces. Mm -hmm. And so for you moving to Atlanta from Philly at five years old. Five days. Oh, five he days old. He was a baby. Like he a, was like a, literally just, out. Just well, born in the world. you're from Philly, so you're yeah. really he was like five days. Straight born, from the hospital. Born in Philly, raised in Atlanta. And like, bring him to Atlanta. Yes. <laughs> right away. Yes. So yes. Why, why was that? Well, um, my dad, you know, he, he was in the music business, and then my mom, she was a celebrity in Nail Tech, mm -hmm. and they met in Atlanta at a conference or something like that. They found out they were both from Philly. Mm -hmm. Went back to Philly, I guess they started a romance, and then they had me, but you know, Philly was rough. Philly was crazy. It still is kind of crazy sometimes. Mm -hmm. And um, they decided just to go back to Atlanta where they met. Okay. And that's how it happened. Aww. And you do music too. Yeah, I am. You write and produce. Yes, I do produce and write. Mm -hmm. I do. Mm -hmm. I don't have nothing crazy yet, but now it's about to change though. Yeah, yeah I mean, because all these 
Roy doors are going to be open. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You're in the spotlight and, 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 and music is different too because <laughs> as a producer, it's just it's just different. Especially trying to like get with artists, mm-hmm. and it's just it takes too it's too much of a toll to get everybody on the same page when it comes to music. Sometimes, mm-hmm. especially in this day and age, so it's just. That's why I really went to acting because it's really on me. Right. Mm-hmm. It's you don't have to rely on other right. people. I ain't got to rely on nobody. It's yeah. on me. I ain't got to rely on the engineer. I ain't got to rely on the producer. I ain't got to rely mm-hmm. on the rapper. It's just, it's on me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I can trust myself. I don't trust these other people that be doing Trust that these hoes. Mm-hmm. No, I really don't. So. so your father was in the music business. Yeah. Mom, so you guys moved to Atlanta. Yes. So what did you think you were going to do? You played football. Yes. Right? You mm-hmm. knew Making it to the NFL is, by the way, something that most people will not right. achieve. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's already something huge there mm-hmm. that happened for you. But then to even be able to make that transition yeah. uh, to being a successful actor, mm-hmm. you know, all this time, it just feels like people don't know the backstory, though, they like don't. what happened mm-hmm. before that. They it's don't. clear that you have just natural born talent in your veins from your parents. Mm-hmm. Um, and a lot of people uh, don't realize that when you come from a background of talent it's just mm-hmm. in you and it's easier to yeah. understand yeah. right that yeah. it's in you um and you are talented in so many different ways i appreciate so, that mm-hmm. i appreciate i'm that. sure it wasn't a hard thing for you to make this transition right you no know, it's funny I, and, I, and i'm glad you said that because yeah it, it really it was kind of seamless i'm not gonna lie mm-hmm. it was a seamless transition because i've always known that i was going i was going to do three things it was going to be music act and a football Okay. And so you did I already know. I, I I knew I was going to do those three things. Um, I think when I was younger, obviously I wanted to play sports, play basketball too. But football, I, I thought it was going to be a meal ticket to you know be in the NFL, get money that way. But when that stopped, I knew I had some backup plans. Mm-hmm. So I know I can do acting. I know right. I can. How was it for you stopping mm-hmm. football? Because you played for so long, and I know for some people that's part of like mm-hmm. having done all of that. Your mm-hmm. identity for mm-hmm. real. Yeah. Um. I was just talking to my homeboy Manuel Moody about this last week in L.A. Well, for me, I ain't gonna lie to you. It was um, not as tragic as it is for some other players. Mm-hmm. I kind of was tired of it, to be honest. Okay, in a way. you were done. Mm-hmm. Just the politics within it, and just the, the the toll it took on the body. Yeah, mentally, I wasn't really excited for it anymore, and it was just the fun had been gone completely. Especially what happened in Arkansas. It was a lot of um, moving parts that I couldn't control with mm-hmm. politics. And when you get older too, you realize how important leadership is. And you know the leadership at some of these places was kind of like it was just crazy. You just mm. had three, I had three coaches in college. Oh damn! Three. So how can you really get your feet set right. and really be as focused and create a foundation the way you want to? Like let's say like Alabama, you got Nick Saban. Saban was there for years, so you're not really going through coaches. You're not going through different personnel. You're not going through different personalities. I had three three coaches. Wow, that's a lot of what change. What yeah, so coaching changes. works best for you? I mean, I just want to win. Right. <laughs> I just want to win. And we had we had some winning times when I was there, but it really was just, you know, people made some decisions and things happened and, you know, people were just going in and out of Arkansas. That's good, though, because then you were able to play, like, in roles where football mm-hmm. was yeah. center stage in some of those roles. So you mm-hmm. were able to take, that gives you quite an edge. Yes, it does. Over it does. Other, other characters. It does. And football in general, it just creates perseverance and it, mm-hmm. it, it teaches you hard work, discipline, all the, you know, the, the cliche shit. But it's just, <laughs> but it does, though. You know what I'm saying? When you're playing in front of 100,000 people, that pressure compared to... You know, when you get on set, like a Tyler Perry said, you got like, what, 200 people watching you. Mm-hmm. And they can be an intimate scene between me and you. And we're doing this crazy thing we got to do. Some people might get nervous about that. Oh my gosh, yeah. everyone's watching. You see a nigga like whispering, as he talking about me? Right. All these things go in your head. And I think with football, that prepared me for moments like that because mm-hmm. it's way different. Like playing in front of 80,000 and everyone's like soul is relying on what you do and what play you make. And the thing about acting is different than football is you don't know what's going to happen in football. You don't know what play is going to happen. You don't know how the ball is going to bounce. You don't know what is going to happen. Right. But acting, you just have a, a general idea. I got the mm-hmm. script. I know what's going to happen. So the pressure from that compared to this made it easy. It just yeah, because if you fumble, yeah, you do anything. Yeah. First of all, right. fans are nuts. Fans mm-hmm. are nuts. They Death be acting like they could do it better than I'm you. Telling yeah. you like, mm-hmm. it, it, is, it, is, it is tough. And so... <laughs> You can have a great night. Everyone loves you. You can mess up. I'm and everyone, you. you're the worst thing in the, in the world. People talk crazy. Talk crazy. Yeah. Talk crazy. So acting is very just like, and I, and I think I found my tribe with acting. Mm-hmm. I really did. I think like, you know, football, I, I have brothers from football that I love to death, but you know, there's kind of like a synergy within football. It's like a little meat heady, a little bit sometimes macho, macho man. And with acting, it's more 
people kind of know themselves mm -hmm. and are vulnerable. They're not scared to be emotional and accept themselves. And that's kind of like my tribe because that's who I am naturally as a person. Right. I really don't give a shit. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm me. I don't give a damn. And that's how I am. And I think some people really just haven't accepted themselves, especially in football, because maybe they're just not there as a frequency. They're not operating at that frequency. But for me, I was always operating at a high frequency always. And that's mm -hmm. why acting is awesome because everyone is kind of operating at a high frequency, at a high vibrational state. How was your first mm -hmm. love scene that you had to do in front of? I'm trying to think. How was that for scene. you? <laughs> it really wasn't. You know, it's crazy. It's really not nothing to me, to be really? honest. I'm going to be honest with you. You don't remember your Even first the first time? time, it has to feel a little weird, everybody watching you. I, I know. No. I, I know. I want to give you this, like, fucking answer. And he was fine with it. I know. Because everyone, because you know, about actors, everyone gives this, like, crazy essay, but it's like, <laughs> I just go do it. I just Good go do it. I just go do it. Like, how do you get in? I'm, I just go do it. Just bro. do it. I just go do it. Has there ever been something you read that you're like, I don't want to do that? Yes, anything <laughs> demonic or some shit like that okay. or some That's devilish. So you don't. What you wouldn't do like a horror? It depends what kind of horror it is. But if it's like demonic and, and devilish, hell mm. no. Nah. Mm. There's this movie called Long Legs. I saw. I don't yeah. know if I've seen that with What's Nicolas that? Cage. Yeah, I was scared. I didn't like it. It scared the shit out of me. I like. I'm not gonna watch it. I like yeah, 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 but it was actually a good movie. It was it. actually a good movie, but um, <laughs> but it yeah. scared you. You wouldn't have been able to take that, take on that role. Yeah, the like you couldn't stuff. do something like an I exorcism, like, like an exorcism movie. Yeah, exorcism. I don't want to do that. I don't want to touch mm. that. Ah. Mm. I know. See, you can't do a movie where you're playing with a Ouija board or anything. Ouija board. Yeah. Yeah. I'm never touching a Ouija board. The spiritual board. thing, when it comes to that, I really kind of just trying to stay yeah. away from that as much as I can. But other than that, yeah. Do you believe in spirits? Yeah. I believe in spirits, yeah. You think you've ever seen a ghost no, or anything? Never, no, maybe one time. I don't know. Maybe one time. But that was like, I was walking on this trail one night and I thought I saw a goddamn ghost. And and and, and, and then you ran it over with the car. And no. like, <laughs> <laughs> facts, facts. And put it in your trunk. <laughs> but yeah, I believe in spirits. I think God's a spirit. God's yes. a spirit. Mm -hmm. You know, Yeshua was a spirit and the Holy Spirit. And, you know, we, we're living in this world right now and it's the spiritual warfare going on. So yeah. I definitely believe in spirits. I, know, I just want right. to say for people listening, today is election day while we're filming mm -hmm. this. Yes, it is election day. Yeah. So and go vote. I yes. actually am so nervous. I was like, I don't mind working Facts. you know, yeah. all night tonight to keep myself. Because yeah. I don't want to sit today. and watch like as the numbers are coming in and Tell everybody's me, yeah. going yeah. crazy and all this. Yeah. I'm telling you, for sure. Because like we'll four years ago, after. I was glued to the TV. <laughs> me yeah. too. I did the same thing. It was fun, though. I like politics. It was fun, but to uh, today feels different. Cause you know what? I feel like we're so divided, oh. and there's a lot of hate. Four yes. years ago, we filmed for Beyond the Pole. Remember, we did our oh, yes, election we did. episode. We, did. we twerked for votes. <laughs> twerking for votes. Twerking for hilarious. votes. We were twerking for votes last year, and this year I was at Magic City from the polls to the poll. <laughs> I literally left Magic City last night and got up and went and voted from the polls to the poll. I know that's, that's what's right. Up. Yeah. That's and that's the rain to come here. Y'all lit. Yeah. Like y'all. Could uh -huh. you ever see yourself like running for office for something? Yes. Really? Definitely. Mm -hmm. I would be a great leader. I okay. sound, I, yeah, I, I know I sound. Congressman. I'm very secretarious of you. Okay, yeah, I, okay I, I, councilman. Yeah, yeah, I think I could do that. I really do think so because I think my head's on straight and I think I have the proper qualities that this country needs. Come on, country. Okay, let's okay. see what he, for the people. What does he stand right. for? Let's see what really, he stand I, for. Okay, I like I, it. I, I do say, think that more people need to run for office who yeah. are, have people, leadership qualities. Who, I, yeah. I honestly feel like the age bracket should be brought down a little. Mm -hmm. A little bit, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. When it comes to politics. Even yeah. like with the the presidential, um, you know, we love Kamala and we want her to win, but she's a little on the older side. Well, yeah. she's you know, not that. No, I'm just saying, <laughs> I want... And, and, and Donald Trump, on the other hand, know, right. Biden is really old. But what I'm saying is, in all of politics, I want the age bracket to come down a little Facts. bit, mm -hmm. so that the people who are in control of the decisions are really in tune with the people who it affects the most, mm -hmm. which is the younger generation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. I do think we have some younger, like senators and council yeah. people, yeah. Mm -hmm. and things like that, because you know, I, a lot of times we focus on the presidency, but there's also yeah. all mm -hmm. of Congress that yeah. matters, like House of Representatives, that matters yeah. the most, Senate. honestly. Facts. Yeah, Facts. to get things when it passed. comes to but I do think we need to us. encourage people to run for office too because sometimes mm -hmm. people don't even understand that they can yeah understand yeah. that they can yeah. and have the support because it does take money too and people have to like Fact. raise money mm -hmm. campaign mm -hmm. I can see you doing a role even I want to yeah. I really do I want. I wanted to be a historian before anything I wanted really? to be a historian I love history okay. I love it I, was, I'm, I love DC I love all that stuff yo and I would have to obviously get better with my policies and things of that nature but I just want to like you know I just want people to live right and be their best and really live this life to the maximum they can 
and not stress about so much shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I have I gotta, a fun question about today's election. I want everybody to answer. Okay. If you were elected president, what's the first thing that you would change? Or what would you like to see change with this upcoming election? Well, I'd see changed. Change. Mm. But what would you like to see something um, put into play or something changed or something, you know, I would different? create a meditation program for everybody in America. Okay. Meditation. i create a meditation program because everyone's fucked up right now. Mm -hmm. The anxiety, the fear, the intrusive everybody thoughts, the worry, everyone's mind. Zenness. Everyone just needs to relax and, and, and meditate and do what they got to do to get their spirituality up. Mm -hmm. Because everyone's focusing so much in this realm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This shit is temporary. We all disposable. Yes. Mm -hmm. Everyone's yes. disposable. And at the end of the day, I just would get people in meditation and mm -hmm. get they, their human side up so they can be better. Yeah. You know what's funny? Right. Uh, you, know, you know what's funny? Everyone always asks me, yo, what do you want? Give me some acting advice, acting advice, all this shit. Be yourself. I, just, I give people human advice. I don't mm. give like, this acting shit because you're not gonna be me. I'm not gonna. You're be You're not gonna be. Yeah. I can eat the sauce, but it ain't gonna. You're not, yeah, you're, you can't. Because my ways is not gonna. My have weird ways. Yeah. But really, I just want to give people human advice. So. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's getting, like I said, your spirituality up, mm -hmm. your meditation up. Yeah. Meditation increases great matter. That reduces cortisol. And at the end of the day, everyone is stressed as fuck out here. When yeah. did you start meditating? Mm -hmm. Um, I think around like 2020. Okay, mm. during the pandemic. That was a great yes. time to start. Because I had a panic attack so goddamn bad that I thought I was going to die. Wow. Oh, wow. And I was running around the streets of LA crazy. Oh, because, really? Because 2020 was nuts. Yeah, it was. It was. We were doing this Same. all day. Yeah. And it's every day, all day, because everyone's free to do whatever they want. Mm. So I got to they the point. They are, but they aren't. Right. Exactly. Yeah. But people are giving out money. Loans, everything that everyone's having a good time. But it was a party. It was hard. Yeah, it, it was a party. Died. Yeah. Exactly, Lots exactly. And, and rest in peace, everybody that yeah went yeah. to that and condolences. But yeah, for the like you know the young crowd in L.A., it was just more so. Nigga, we doing that. We want nigga. And every mm. night mm. it End wouldn't day. stop. Yeah, and I then got to the point Miami where I, one day it was so bad I just had this panic attack came from nowhere. How and did you know it was like what happened? I had to run. I had to run. And my heart was being so fast. I thought I was gonna die. I have, I have, I have fucked up anxiety. I used to have fucked mm -hmm. up anxiety and crippling anxiety. And, and, and this is what I wanna talk about. This yeah. is the type of stuff I wanna talk about to people because I think sometimes people see me and like, yo, he just got it going on, nigga. Mm -hmm. My mind's fucked sometimes. Right. A lot of times. And mm -hmm. I just had to find ways to like cope and get my mind better because the mind is so strong and it can attract things. And it's really a, a dictator to how you really live your life. Yeah. So with that though, I think just the drinking and not getting no sleep, this is, and I lost one of my friends. He was like, he was a, actually, yeah, he's he one of my friends and he really supported me and he had passed away. And I think when I saw the news, I just freaked out. Right. And this just panic attack came over me. And I just, cause you know, we can't multitask in the brain. Mm -hmm. You know, the brain only can focus on one thing at a time. So when sometimes when it gets too crazy and too hectic in my mind, I just gotta run. Mm -hmm. Because once you start running and stuff, your brain's focusing on running and now you're tired and shit. So now you can give your brain a just a, a break. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So you meditate by running. No, that's why I did that one oh, time. Yeah. That's, one what time. <laughs> that's what I said. That's what I said. I can't do this. I can't do this shit again. Right. So that's Thought when process. I really start like really trying to find ways to just get my mind to be as present as possible. And so it can be relaxed and as best as I can be, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So ashwagandha, taking vitamins, the fish oils, the D3s, um, multivitamins, um, it can go on and on and on. There's a lot of vitamins that I was mm -hmm. taking and then with meditation yeah. and then with prayer. So now you got a combo. Mm -hmm. So you get the prayer going, you get the meditation going, take the ashwagandha and now you just you're able present. To focus. Yeah, you present. Yeah. Did you talk to anybody that like what made you decide to do that? Talk to God about it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And just meditated about it. And then I really started understanding just how like important meditation was. I would go to the steam room and just meditate for 15, 20 minutes, put on good music and just breathe. Mm. And I don't think we realize as humans how imperative just breathing is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everyone's just living life. When you're stressed going. out, you kind of hold your breath and don't exactly. realize it. Exactly. I didn't yeah. know. I didn't know about yeah. this. Mm -hmm. You just hold your breath, and I think mm -hmm. that um, just with time and just knowing about meditation, it just continued to be a part of my daily regimen, and I do it like every day. Mm -hmm. And I just encourage people to do it, you know, because it really helps. Mm -hmm. It really does help. And they do have apps and everything like that that can they actually do. help yeah. you with yeah. that mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. There's an app for everything. I love a sound bath. 
Because sometimes our mind is always racing too. Tell me. I know it's hard for me to sleep at night because I have like 20,000 things in my head. I got to do this, got to do that, got to do it. And then you're just laying there like, and the next thing you know, it's time to get up. (laughs) It's crazy. It's really, it's crazy. But it helps me with everything, with acting, everything. It just allows you to be set in the scene, allows you to be set in life. It helps crazy. Mm. Yeah. If I was president, I think the thing I would focus on first is housing. Mm. Yeah. I think that's like one of the major issues that will help people in in every single way, knowing that you have a decent place to live Mm -hmm. is so important. And so Mm -hmm. many people don't have that. Mm -hmm. And so many people are like, how do I pay my rent? I'm getting evicted. I don't have this. I don't have hot water. I don't, you know, Mm -hmm. it's all of those things. And so for me, just affordable housing for people or places for people to live, because we can build things. Um, And we can also make sure, and I know we do this here and now, but when developers are doing projects, making sure a a portion of that you know, does go towards affordable housing mm-hmm. incentives from the government. Also, mm-hmm. I feel like opportunities, like think about people who are able to intern or do things like that and not have to worry so much about money as they're pursuing exactly. their goals yeah. because they need some place to live. Mm-hmm. You know, we all grinded it out at a certain time mm-hmm. in our life where yeah. maybe we didn't have, well, most of us didn't have money like that. But at least if you know you have a place to live yeah. and come home to. Mm-hmm. When, You're able to be more sane. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and Get pursue things, things that you really want to pursue. Yeah. You know, exactly. what would you that. change, Jordan? I think my focus would always be in human rights in some mm-hmm. sort. Um, mm-hmm. I think elderly care is overlooked. Um, women's rights, obviously, mm-hmm. health care, our food. I don't. I think it would have to be one of those. That's mine. Yeah. The FDA. Yeah. yeah. They're they're killing us with these right. carcinogens in, mm-hmm. in our food. Look at how many. The high counts of people who have and are suffering from it actually losing yep. lives to cancer. That mm-hmm. wasn't happening when we were kids. Mm-hmm. Like that wasn't happening 20, 30 years ago. In There's such stuff in high other rate. countries that they won't yeah, that we so allow stuff. here. So much stuff. But in other countries they're like, oh no, we There's don't have so much stuff. You can fruit. notice like, the this difference food immediately. is killing us. The <laughs> food crazy. is killing us, the chemtrails in the air. Like yeah. all of that is what I would focus on. Yeah. If, no, I, was, if mm-hmm. I had that. Right. Probably See, look, we turned things. into all this. Uh, this all came out of lip service yeah. today. I'm telling you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Look what you brought out of us today you. With, with your conversations. You. Politician you. Horton. Politician Horton. Right. That sounds sound good. <laughs> like that that sounds good. That sound good. What, what, what are you like in a relationship? What am I like in a relationship? Oh, shit. You're oh, a sanitarian. Oh, He's oh, a sanitarian. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. That was a sign. That was a sign. My mic died. How am I in a relationship? Yeah. What What would people you dated say about you in common? Like, he said he, he's, he, very... he, he's an asshole, but he got oh. me closer to God. That's what, say. <laughs> That's what I say. He's a freedom. He loves his freedom, and he like, yeah, Uh-oh. I know. He bad. loves his freedom. Always I was about means... to say, well, so you were out here cheating? No, I don't uh, do that okay. at all. I don't do that. I don't do that at all. At all. I don't at all. I don't do that. <laughs> what does loves his freedom mean? Hmm? See. <laughs> Then he's not committed. That's cool. So you have commitment issues. He's 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 not going to cheat because he's not going to commit. So there we go. You can't cheat if you're not committed. You just when was the last time you were in a relationship? I'm in a relationship now. Oh, okay. you are? Yeah. An open like, relationship? Nope. A monogamous relationship? No, I'm, I'm, I'm in a committed relationship. He's yeah. committed. He For how long? A long time. Uh, <laughs> he's like, I keep my private life, my private life. I do. To keep it uh, protected. What? I know he said, we're not talking about Roy no more. We're talking about me now. <laughs> no, nah, facts. But yeah. Um, he's like, you know what I have going on. I'm married and the woman is uh, runs the business. And <laughs> it's kind of like that. <laughs> Like she that. runs the family, runs business, the family and business, and we're gonna stay together because of that. Yeah, I mean, we got we got a cool dynamic. We work, we yeah, we have a, yeah a, a cool dynamic and stuff that works for us. That's it. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. interesting. Very poli- very uh, political yeah, answer you just gave there. Yeah, no, we're gonna see on the red carpet. I can't, I can't, okay, can't. for the next. She always comes. Yeah, she always be there. Okay, good. She always you know, comes. So, always there. Being yeah. supportive, like being supportive. My dog. Does she watch the series with you? Yes. And what did she say? Was she like? She loved it. Okay, good. <laughs> I have a, I have a, I have, a, I have. She gets it. Mm-hmm. She gets it in the way you know. I think you got to be with somebody who just understands the same. Y'all have the same worldview, kind of, and the same perspective. And really, that's really when it comes down to. Obviously, I'm not a checkbox guy. Right. I don't give a shit about the cooking, cleaning, bullshit. I don't give a shit. Okay, just make me laugh. Do you split the bills? No. <laughs> no. He said that with disgust. <laughs> No, no, that's for the bills. Anything you want, just take it. Here, take it, take it. But I yeah, really don't care about no duties. I don't okay. give a shit. It's about the synergy. It's about the chemistry. 
and can we laugh? Mm -hmm. Can we have a good time? So you're are you an easy person to date? Easy. You think? Are you okay? Easy. I just we just laugh the whole time. Wake up in the morning and laugh. Because <laughs> laugh to feast the soul. Yeah, I don't, I don't take Definitely. life too serious. I'm being dead serious. I don't All take right, life I'm too with serious. You on that. I take three things serious, and that's God. I know I'm not even drinking right now. Lord forgive me. But I, I, I want to do better for God. Um, <laughs> I take my family <laughs> serious, and I take my career serious. Mm -hmm. Okay. When they say set, I mean when they call action, I take it serious. Mm -hmm. My family, look out for them, everything. And then, you know, God, and that's really it. Everything else is a bonus. Right. That's my memoir is going to be called. It's Don't take that title. Else is a but bonus. yeah, that's everything else is called. a bonus. Yeah, it's going to be called that because that's what everything else is a bonus to me. I don't okay. take things too serious. He's already got mm -hmm. his memoir plan. Right. We I love do. it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll be writing everything in my notes. That's good. Just, just, just slowly just but surely. Mm -hmm. Slowly and you be looking surely. back like, I can't believe this happened. Yeah, I'm, right. I'm just writing. Everything I go through, every thought that I have this process in my mind, I write it down. So mm -hmm. when I do one day, get older when I write something it'll be there you know nice. so but everything is about that's how I look at life I don't think that I think this life especially with things that have happened of recent especially this last five years with just losing people and seeing the tragedy that's happened because you know I lost three teammates last year at Arkansas oh wow I lost three of them I lost my brother uh, Ryan Mallett Oz Collins and Chris Smith my dogs and 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 that just get and I already had this mentality mm -hmm. but just when you lose people that are your age and stuff like that. I think the care for the certain minute, my, the the minute things that we care about in this world, it just kind of goes away. Right. And I think mm -hmm. the things that really matter is how you treat people, how people feel when they meet you. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm in the trenches with the people. I've responded to every person who DM me, everybody. Damn. Mm -hmm. But I'm kind of getting tired of it, though. You're like, yeah. You know what this one do for you? If you caught me, if you caught me then. No, no, yeah, right. yeah, exactly. yeah, moving forward, I'm not. Yeah, exactly. By the time part two drops, it's over. It's, it's, it? Yeah, it's kind of tough. <laughs> it's just getting a lot, ain't gonna lie to you. But I just, I'm in the <laughs> trenches. I don't give a shit about this. I really don't. I really don't care. I don't Is your anxiety a lot better now? It's amazing. Under control? I'm taking three ashwagandhas before I got on set. Mm -hmm. So I feel good right now. I'm calm. Nice and lax. I'm calm. I'm calm. I'm calm. <laughs> I really, Listen. I'm really calm. But we know you have all kinds of emergencies going on tonight. And I love that you rolled in here like, you won't believe what just happened. I know. Right. I'm just, I'm just a fireball. I just <laughs> yeah. go. I just really go. I just but, really go. But, you know, you got to roll with the punches when it comes mm -hmm. to life You really sometimes. do got to roll with the punches. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. There's things that are out of your control. Absolutely. That you just have to be like, all right, well. Let's figure it out figure this out mm -hmm. i know That's all you can do really sagittarius quality sagittarius Fact. just living life <laughs> look at things as a bigger picture everything's like a bigger picture to me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you know sometimes i do got to work on the small details in my life though i okay. got to do better with that thing you know certain things but i look at life as just a bigger picture type well it's thing. working for you mm -hmm. it is we'll say that yes everything is a blessing from god it mm -hmm. is and and yeah just even being with y'all Oh, what that makes us feel special. Do you know what I'm doing last year at this time? I was driving Uber. And at the end of the day, my car. Were you really? I was. See, no one would think that because you've had successful no roles one, and you exactly. were. Exactly. That's why I tell everybody. I was driving Uber. They just Uber. assume you have up. money. I was fucked up. Fucked up bad. Wow. Because we were on strike. Mm, and we didn't work for strike. we didn't work for seven months. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then it was um, the actor strike and the writer strike. Yes, yep. all these strikes are happening. No work's coming through. So I'm like, damn, nigga, my, my, my money do. is dwindling. Right. So I'm like, damn, I gotta, I gotta do, I gotta do Uber, cause I wanted to do Uber because mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm not going. I didn't want to like, you know, punch the clock or anything like that. I wanted to work on my time. Mm -hmm. So I did Uber. How was that experience for you? I'm, just humble, I'm humbled right now. But yeah, I was doing Uber, but it was cool. I was meeting, I was meeting people. You were chatty. Chatty. No, I, but, but the thing about, I'm not, I'm not, I don't start it though. I don't start it. I'm not a were guy. Were you playing that, your beats in the car? You know how simple. Sometimes. Uber drivers have done that sometimes, too. Sometimes. Especially in Atlanta. Sometimes. They be like, "Who's your Everybody yeah. 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 I, I, bet, I bet you really did with that for sure, though. I, I bet you did. I bet you. It happens I was in just, Atlanta the most. I'm not gonna lie. I'm already wow. knowing. So you were doing Uber in Atlanta. I was doing Uber in Atlanta. Oh, I know that was wild. Yeah, it was just you know, it was it was cool. Were girls hitting on you too? Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes. Oh, y'all see my Uber driver lit. Yeah, right. and then Five one stars. day it was so bad that my car wasn't like it wasn't working anymore. I said, "What the hell is going on?" And next thing you know, my tr transmission just blew. Oh my mm. god! Because I needed extra money that day, so I drove fourteen hours like a dumbass. Fourteen. Yeah, oh, so man. stupid. You dumb. were grinding it. Out. Yeah. I, was grinding, grinding. I was grinding it. That's a movie That's in the, the trenches. I'm telling you, I'm grinding it, grinding yeah. it. Everything else is just a bonus. I'm right? telling you, grinding it out. I had no car for months, and in my savings account, barely making it, and then. 
I said, all I, all I need is one. I just need one. And here we are. Yep. And I'm I'm on Angela. Yeah, we on y'all. Oh, won't he do it? God is good. You, I'm I'm do it all the time. time. Will you get Shout out tips? to GLD. Hmm? Did you get good tips? I did get good tips. Tip your yeah. Uber driver, ladies and gentlemen. You never real. know. Mm-hmm. Hey, I was getting good tips. So playing great music, just '90s music, 2000s music, and just vibing, just yeah. vibing, and just nice. you know that was it. Really, I had some great Uber driver conversations with some of my drivers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One guy, I had to let him know, like this woman is scamming you. He was sending this girl. He was older. And he was sending her like all this money, and then she kept on not flying in to see him. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was crazy. like, sir, yeah, he at least I'm like sending this money. Scam. That's crazy. It's probably so the crazy. man in yeah. India. Absolutely. Well, Julian, I want to thank you so much for joining us today. Honestly, hey. I got the email like, oh, Julian Horton from Beauty. I said, yes, please. Yep, absolutely. Because that show is the number one series, and congratulations to you. It's well deserved. I love hearing about your journey and how you got there because mm-hmm. I think people see, like, oh, he's, you know, he's they on see the now. The Tyler Perry he's, series. Yeah, he, yeah. And they don't understand the then. You know, Tough love uh-huh. Atlanta. They think you're just doing it and you just yeah. have a ton of p- people see you on TV and think automatically rich. My life is balanced right. as shit. Mm-hmm. A lot of craziness. Yeah, I'm just yeah, I'm just doing it. Balance doing the it. crazy with the zen. Exactly. Meditate your way through. Exactly. Yeah. All like right. That. Well, Julian Hurt, <laughs> DM him while you can, because he might not respond later. But All maybe right. now, once if part you get two, early, y'all ain't gonna get no response. <laughs> facts. 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 Uh, facts. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Yeah, you. Yes, you are amazing. Time.